Right, very short video folks. See there, there's a very young fawn, probably, probably born in the last couple of hours. He's a mama. He tried feeding a minute ago. I can't really walk easily with this camera, so I'll just stay here for a minute, just do a little bit of video in of it. Just try and walk a little bit. Oh, my knees ache. Oh. Oh. Sorry, it's a bit bumpy for me knee. There's the fall. There he is, look. Oh, he's going to have a lie down. He's tired. He's tired. <sighs> I'm just doing a bit of exploring. I've done quite a hike already, folks. But I'm on target for uh, the hill fort, the Dowsborough hill fort, which you can't see at the moment. I'm just going to go up here and go up a bit higher so that I can, because in a minute I should be at what's called Dead Woman's Ditch Car Park. It's further along than I thought, to tell the truth. And uh, I, hope, I hope I haven't passed the hill for I don't think I have, I've just forgotten how far it is to walk. This is the road that will take you to Crokham one way and back towards Overstowy, Netherstowy, this way. There's a car park up there. I've just seen a couple of horses getting some food off some people out there, vehicles. It's a lovely view. Great woods right over there. I saw a chap who was probably making his way towards West Bagborough, a big walk that I've done a few times. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to bother the, the horse too much because he's only just given birth, I would say, very, very recently. Dead, man, dead man's ditch is over there somewhere, or dead woman's ditch, I can't remember which. But... Uh, the foal's having a little rest. The camera's battery's about to go on the Kodak, which I'll have to charge it up, of course. Um, I'm just following a track parallel with the road, the small road, so that I can um, get into the hill fort. I haven't, I don't even know if I've done it this way round before tell the truth. Right, I'm going to turn off. But before I do, let's have a look around. There, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, everyone? <coughs> right, see that over there? That's um, Downsborough Hill Fort. And I'm going to be walking through it. In the next hour, I would say. I've got to try and remember the route. I'm heading for a car park because um, it's a reference point for me uh, before I branch off into that wood. Before I branch off, uh, I need the reference point. I don't just want to go wandering off as so I'll end up in um, what's called Ladies' Coombe. Uh, not Dead Woman's Ditch, Ladies' Coombe. So I'm just keeping off that road at the moment because there's quite a few cars up and down. This would be absolutely glorious, this place, when the heather and the gorse comes out, by the way. Um, it's holding on tight at the moment. 
um, until May's end. But it's handy having these little tracks, see? So I don't have to walk on the road. Still haven't used Sony yet. There's a load of buzzards flying up above there. Something must be... Um, now with the Sony, I could I would be able to home in on them big time, and for and follow them, but I won't be able, I won't be able to with this camera. You could if you had it on a tripod, and you could stabilise it. So I apologise if it's a bit bumpy. Basically, it isn't. It's going to be a still camera in the future, but at the moment I'm having to use it like I do my Sony because. Uh, I haven't got the other Sony yet. I don't know when I'll be getting it. I've got a lot of uh, grandchildren's birthdays coming up. It always costs money, doesn't it? I don't see them really, so I always just send them a bit of dosh. There's five of them. <laughs> five of them. Oh dear. I think you can just carry on following this track, Jill. It'll lead you around and you'll come to the car park eventually. Just don't leave sight of the road because at one point I seem to be wandering that way and I don't want to. I don't want to be wandering over there. Oh god, it's so gorgeous to be out there, everyone. There's the hill fort. Iron Age Hill Fort. I'm looking forward to getting in it and walking around it, then going down to Holford. I'm planning to have my picnic actually on the bench at Holford. Cheese tomato, um, Jerry Lee cheese dips. Um, I've got cake this time. I brought cake. I've got chocolate. I've got oranges. I've got the banana. I didn't bring crisps. I'm not into crisps at the moment. They're getting me teeth. So I'm just trying to do a little bit of videoing while I'm going along with this. And of course, if it was on Zoom, folks, all you'll be, all you probably could have seen was the bloody floor. If it was on Zoom, then sorry. Look at these lovely oak trees. Yeah, I forgot how far it was to walk along near the path to get to Crocombe. Crocombe Hill. Oh God, isn't it gorgeous going through this little meadow of trees, look. I think we'll be on the road again in a minute though. Look at them all gnarled. Nice and cosy in this area. Nice and cosy. Right, I'm going to stop a minute. A stop a bit minute. more, folks. A little bit humpy, bumpy, jumpy, swayy. I'm going to take my coat off again in a minute. Because when when I was on the top, there was quite a sharp, cold wind. Um, so I put my scarf, hat. No, yeah, yeah, I had hat on as well. That's in my pocket at the moment. And we're coming up to Dead Woman's Ditch Car Park in a minute. I know I've got to go past that a little way before I pick up the wood proper. I just thought I'd video a bit so you do realise I've been in here. Then I'll pick up one of these tracks. Aren't they lovely, these trees, though. They're lovely. All gnarled. Yeah, I can't remember the way to the ladies' ditch, but um, there's lots of pathways. I'll be getting back on one. I just don't want to go past the car park because there's usually a plaque there. But then you get a lot of people as well, picnicking and. I just do like this word. It's really spooky. It's a spooky word. <laughs> Over there, right? 